Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be sharing online school tips just because I know that most people are going to be doing school online. For me personally, we're doing a hybrid of online and in person, whatever that truly means. So I'll be doing a little bit of online classes with you guys. So I just wanted to share some tips and tricks on how I stay motivated. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Number one, your location for doing your online school cannot be your bed. Our minds actually associate different areas with different things. So your bed is associated with sleep and rest and it's very very hard to get yourself motivated when you're in a spot that is associated with sleep and relaxation so that's why it's best if you can based on your situation to have a different spot where you do your online school for me i have an office this little office space. I can do online school in my living room too, so it's really nice to have different areas associated with different activities because it helps your brain not have to work extra hard when you're trying to do school in a place that you like to sleep at. Number two, having restful and relaxing breaks very frequently is important. The reason why I especially bring this one up is because your brain and your eyes were not meant to stare at a computer screen for hours on end during the day. So it's very important that you spend some time outside if the weather allows it. Just going to do different things that still engage your brain. Like I'm not talking about watching TV or going on YouTube, but I'm talking about things that still are interactive for your brain but are not involving a screen is very helpful for your mind and body it is going to be so healthy for you if you make sure that you have regular breaks where you are away from some sort of screen number three inviting other people to study with you or learn with you actually helps you better retain the information that you're studying and the reason why that I bring this up is because there have been several times in my school career where I've had a friend help me study for a test and because we were joking around and laughing, we would make a joke maybe about one of the flashcards or something and then I remembered that flashcard on the test because we had a little inside joke about it. So having your friend or a family member help you study and learn it can really help you engage more with the information and just help you retain it for a long period of time number four plan out your deadlines for every class whether that's online like google calendars or on a paper like a planner and this is especially important for online school because normally when you go to class you have reminders of when papers or projects are due or classmates will let you know and just talk about it and then you remember. But when you're on online school and you're by yourself, it's really hard to remember these big projects that might be coming up that you actually need to spend a lot more time on. So I recommend having some sort of organizational system. I know that it's not for everybody and not everybody likes to have planners. So that's why maybe doing it on Google calendars might be a good idea just so that you can keep track and you don't actually miss some assignments because you weren't in class physically to be reminded of the big assignments that were coming up. Number five, make a routine and keep this routine. And this is also very important because when we're doing online school, it's really easy to get lazy because we don't have an 8 a.m. class to get to or something like that. So even though you don't have these things you have to be physically present for, still keeping a regular routine where you wake up at the same time every day you eat your breakfast then you maybe work out and having those structured things every single day will help your 
mind, not get lazy, and it'll keep you motivated and productive when you have this continual routine that you're keeping. This may not be your cup of tea, being organized or anything, but even then, if you don't want to schedule out every aspect of your day, just at least have a time that you need to wake up by. Number six, take notes in your Zoom classes or if you have like lectures you have to watch. Take notes during those just so that you stay engaged. And it is so easy and you probably already experienced this like I experienced this when we had to go to online school this past semester and I could just turn on my Zoom call and then do other things and I was not really paying attention that much and I feel like it's going to be a lot harder to pay attention during a whole semester of online school. So that's why if you implement the practice of actually taking notes, actually trying to engage, it will also help you in the long run when you have tests, exams, all of those things, and you'll actually know the information because you took notes on it. So. Since we don't have the leisure of going in person and focusing on someone that's lecturing to us, we have to be intentional about taking notes and engaging behind a computer screen. Number seven, ask for help from professors or teachers and from other students because it is very hard for some people to learn online. For me, it's not too hard. I can do either, but I know a lot of people that really struggle to do online school and they just need extra help so don't be afraid to ask for extra help if you maybe are not understanding a whole topic i recommend even contacting your teacher and saying hey can we have a private zoom call to where i can talk to you and ask questions i think that would be very beneficial because you still need to try to do your best in classes and I know that for some people this online school thing is going to be so difficult so I recommend going out of your way to ask for help if you don't understand something because you're not going to succeed if you struggle with online school if you don't ask for help. I don't know if that sentence made sense. And the last one, number eight. <laughs> Stay social and connected with friends and family and this is very important and I think that a lot of us kind of experienced this when we were in lockdown on quarantine. We just felt so bleh for lack of better words. It felt like there was a black cloud over us and it's because we had to be quarantined at our homes and we didn't get to go anywhere. And that's why I think it's really important if you are continuing to do online school to not be just isolated and shut up in your room or your house. You actually need to try to find time to be social, to still spend time with other people. Not only is that good for you mentally, but it's good for you physically and it'll probably help you with your online school as well if you have that mental break and you're not always on the computer screen or writing notes or anything like that. So it is really helpful all around to have some sort of social interaction. So please be intentional about that. I hope you guys got some tips for your online school semester. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys.